In this video, you'll be learning about hormone replacement therapy. So what is hormone replacement therapy? It's required when a person is deficient in a hormone and they receive treatments to rectify this imbalance. Either adrenal or pituitary glands are not releasing the hormone. So this, in this picture in particular, the yellow structure here is a pituitary gland which is attached to the hypothalamus and they work together. When glands are not functioning properly and there is an undersupply or oversupply of a certain hormone, serious illness may result. Hormone replacement therapy can be used to treat some of these conditions. Now, one of these conditions is Addison's disease, and it's also known as a primary adrenal insufficiency or hypoadrenalism. It's a rare disorder of the adrenal glands. In specifically, it actually happens in the adrenal cortex of this gland. All of the hormones secreted by the adrenal cortex are steroids and are produced from cholesterol. We actually know cholesterol as being bad for our body, but we actually do need some cholesterol to perform these functions. It affects the production of two essential hormones called cortisol and aldosterone. Aldosterone is a hormone produced by the adrenal gland that helps regulate the amount of salt retained or lost by the body. Now, the symptoms of um, Addison's disease. Some symptoms include, so you've got changes in blood pressure or heart rate. In particular, your blood pressures tend to be low. Chronic diarrhea, nausea and vomiting or loss of appetite resulting in weight loss. Darkening of the skin, and I have a picture of this over here, in some places causing the skin to look patchy. So your skin may actually look patchy. Extreme weakness fatigue and slow or sluggish movement or salt craving. So your tests, if you have Addison's disease, you may show increased potassium, low blood pressure, low cortisol level, low sodium levels. And patients with this disease often experience symptoms which include high urine output, which results in low blood volume. Low blood volume also results in low blood pressure. So eventually, as blood pressure falls, this can result in a heart failure. Cortisol. Now, cortisol is another hormone released, and it's produced by the outer layer of the adrenal gland called the adrenal cortex. The quantities of cortisol released by the adrenal glands are closely monitored by the pituitary, which is located in the brain. Cortisol plays many vital roles and is essential to many body functions because it works with adrenaline to help the body manage physical and emotional stress. On this point, cortisol, we actually see if it's released in too high amounts, it can actually result in different forms in your body. If you're in a stressful work environment, for example, you might find that you have a high level of cortisol because of your environment. So your environment can actually change the fluctuations of cortisol in your body. Now, if you do have high cortisol, people um, respond to that differently. Some people may actually put on weight and the high cortisol just, you know, you, you might eat something as um, a diet and you're actually retaining all the energy from that and you're putting on weight. So excess cortisol can cause that. In some individuals, however, it can work the opposite. Excess cortisol may actually help you lose weight. So both of these reasons, people respond differently to this cortisol that's released, which is a hormone in your body. Now, it also converts protein into glucose to boost flagging blood sugar levels. It works in tandem with the hormone insulin to maintain constant blood sugar levels. It reduces inflammation and it helps the body maintain a constant blood pressure. A lack of aldosterone can result in low sodium levels, high potassium levels and high acid levels in the blood, which is obviously all a toxic to our body. These are all potentially dangerous conditions, but they can, they can be reversed with the hormone replacement therapy using a synthetic hormone called fludrocortisone. Fludrocortisone is used to treat this condition, but a careful monitoring must be maintained to avoid fluid retention and high blood pressure because that can also be detrimental to your body. Patients will be on treatment for life. However, they will be able to live normal lives when on this treatment. 
When applied appropriately, it can increase fluid retention, raise blood pressure, and remove the danger of heart failure, allowing sufferers to lead normal lives. Now, summary, what color is your urine? This here is just a little picture to say, if your urine is more up here on the chart, it's important to actually drink more water to help your kidneys because you'll help them function. Okay, when a person is deficient in a hormone such as aldosterone, they may need hormone replacement therapy. People with this disease often have high urine output, which results in a low blood volume, and this can lead to heart failure. Fludrocortisone is used for life to treat this condition. This concludes hormone replacement therapy.